four, three, two, one, and lift off. Last week, three astronauts arrived at the International Space Station, rounding out the crew of Station Expedition 34. The six member team spent most of Christmas Day relaxing, sharing a festive meal and gifts, and talking to family. What about celebrating New Year's? How do you pick the right moment when you're hurtling through time zones at 17,500 miles per hour? Just wait until midnight, Greenwich Mean Time. By convention, the astronauts set their clocks to GMT. That means they'll officially ring in the new year with those in London and Reykjavik. One crew member said he hopes to see firework displays as the space station passes over different time zones at midnight, but otherwise, the day will likely resemble any other. A space station New Year's Eve party might be kind of lame anyway. There's no alcohol allowed on board, and sparkling cider isn't an option either. When a carbonated beverage is shaken, an unavoidable side effect of being launched into space, some carbon dioxide comes out of the solution. That gas would escape when you open it, creating a hissing sound. In a low-gravity environment, the undissolved gas forms bubbles within the beverage rather than floating to the top, rendering it foamy and undrinkable. Other space station holidays are established at the beginning of each mission and depend on the nationalities of the crew members. On a rare full vacation day, like Christmas, the crew can elect to shirk its non-essential research duties in favor of reading, watching movies, or gazing longingly out the windows at Earth.